Hey guys, this is Bradley Benner with Semantic Mastery, and I want to take a few minutes to show you guys something that I'm, I'm going to recommend that any of you that are doing local, local SEO, local lead gen. This is a great tool. It's Live Rank Sniper. It's Peter Drew's tool. I'm going to explain uh, how to use this tool. It's a great tool for finding low competition keywords for local SEO and lead gen. Uh, if you want to check it out, go to smshort.link slash live rank sniper. As you can see, there's it's hyphenated. So SM short for semantic mastery short dot link slash live dash rank dash sniper. Okay, you can go check it out there. But I'm going to show you very quickly the process for how to use this. And in about 10 minutes time, it takes about 10 minutes to set up a campaign. And actually, if you're in a particular niche or industry, uh, you can once you set up a campaign once you can just repeat that campaign over and over and over again with different locations. Um, and you know, it, it takes less than 10 minutes to set up a campaign. What does it do? Well, Live Rank Sniper, or what it does is it actually creates what's called scheduled live events in YouTube. So it's it's a YouTube uh, automation tool that will go out and schedule live events in YouTube, which are indexable. Like in other words, a, a scheduled live event is an indexable YouTube video URL, just like a published YouTube video would be. The only thing is it's scheduled, meaning it's supposed to be streamed at a future date but it still indexes and it will still show the thumbnail and the search results. I'm going to show you examples of this in a minute. Um, so it's, you don't need any video content. All you need is keywords and whatever you're going to put in the description. Um, and that's it. And, and all you do is, and in thumbnails, I recommend that you have, um, you know, vibrant, bright thumbnails, YouTube thumbnails that stand out, right. That catches the eyes attention. And I'm going to show you some examples of that as well, but all it does is it goes out and it will schedule live events with your keywords as the title and then whatever you put in the description and it does one right after the other after the other up to 10 scheduled live streams per campaign or per run all right and so uh you know those scheduled live streams they they rank they rank or they they index excuse me very very quickly and you can determine which keywords will rank very quickly on the first page or even second first or second page of google with with only on-page optimization, no off-page whatsoever. And then obviously you're piggybacking on the authority of YouTube a little bit, but that's all it does. And then once, so it goes out and you can set up a campaign. And like I said, if it's the first time you've ever set up a campaign, it might take you 15 minutes, seriously. Um, or if you're st starting a new campaign for a new industry or a new location or for new products and services, perhaps it might, once you've done it a couple of times, it might take you 10 minutes to set up a brand new campaign with new keywords and everything else. But like I said, if you, if you're in a particular industry, like I am with tree services, then I already know which keywords to target. The only thing I need to do is swap out locations. And so I can have a campaign set up in literally, you know, five to seven minutes. I'm not kidding. Um, so very, very quickly. And then I hit the go button and walk away and you come back 30 minutes later and all of the scheduled live streams have been scheduled. And then you can run r live rank sniper to go check to see which it, um, it checks the first two pages of Google for each of the keywords and it looks to see if the YouTube video that it just scheduled or the, the scheduled live stream is ranking on the first or second page of Google. And if it is, then it puts it into a notepad file, a text file uh, with the keyword and the, and the URL that's ranked, the website, uh, excuse me, the YouTube URL, the scheduled live stream URL that's ranking. And then from there, you can you can either stream a video into that placeholder and you can do that right from the live rank sniper software. So the ones, the videos that have ranked, you can then take a video that you prepare later or whatever and stream it into that scheduled live stream. So it becomes a more permanent type of video. Um, or you can just go back into the YouTube channel and delete those. Now that you've identified the keywords that will rank very quickly, very easily, low competition keywords. And then you can start to build more permanent assets like either do more YouTube videos or you can build Google site or blogger or Weebly or patch.com classified announcement posts, all of those things that rank very quickly because of the authority of the domain of them, you know, the, the authority that the domain has, um, or you can build multiple assets targeting those keywords that you live rank sniper identified as keywords that will rank with virtually or no back, no off page SEO at all. It's purely based on on page because they're lower competition. So what are the use cases for this? Well, 
for example, um, trying to find low hanging fruit keywords or low competition keywords for lead generation assets or for existing clients. Uh, if you want to do it for client work or for landing clients, what about running a live rank sniper campaign in a particular area that you have, you know, uh, clients that you, or let's say, here's an example. You can do it for cold prospecting. You can do it for um, kind of selling a prospect that you already have a some sort of communication with. So for example, let's say you get on a on a discovery call with a prospect for a local SEO client or for a lead buyer, somebody that might be per, you might want to sell leads to or or rank and rent assets to or something like that. You can have the initial discovery call, get some information about their business, their products, their services, the areas in which they service. Uh, you know, if it's a service area business, and then you could say, okay, cool, I'm going to do a little bit of research and let's schedule a follow up call for, you know, three days from now or for tomorrow or for a week from now, whatever it is. And then you, after you've collected some of their product and service keywords and the areas that they provide those products or services to, then you go run a live rank sniper campaign. You rank some, some of these videos are going to rank, some of these scheduled live streams are going to rank. Uh, in the search results. And then when you have your follow up call with them, you can say, Hey, by the way, I did some research. But in, before I get into that, I want you to, you know, open up a browser, go to Google real quick and do a quick search for this keyword. And then boom, you can show them right there in the search results that you have a video thumbnail that is ranked, that has their contact information, their website, their phone number, etc. right in the video in the video thumbnail It could be there, it could also just be in the video description or whatever. And you can say, look what I was able to do for you. So now let's talk about what else I can do for you, right? And so that's a great lead in as a way to help close a prospect that you have already started communication with. You could also use it to just cold prospecting right off the bat, right? Just go rank some videos or it's not even videos. They're scheduled with live streams. So basically you're ranking a thumbnail image. That's it. You rank a thumbnail image for, and then you could start contacting contractors or companies that in that specific area and say, look, look what I've got. These are placeholders. I can replace these placeholders with a video that has your information, your contact information, a call to action to call, to call you or to visit your store or whatever, you know, however it is. So there's just a number of things that you can do. You could also use this poking tool as, as we call it, right? Um, as a live rank sniper, as a way to identify areas that you want to build lead gen assets in. So you can just go select an area, identify, select a niche, select a, a, an industry, identify the common or products or services offered by that industry. Um, some of you already have industry selected like I do with tree services. That's fine. Then a lot of this research is done, right? You've, you are, you've already done all that. But you can I, then uh, identify the common products or services offered, choose locations, suburbs of metro areas are the best. Okay, so I'm going to show you an example of this in a minute. Um, then you create or purchase 10 YouTube thumbnail images. You want Im thumbnail images that pop, that really stand out, right? That attract the eye, to, uh, uh, colorful, vibrant, bright, that kind of stuff. Then you run Live Rank Sniper using one of these targeting types. So I do it one of two ways. I either run one product or service keyword times 10 locations, because you can do 10 scheduled live streams up to 10 at a time, okay? Or I'll do one location for multiple up to 10 products or services, meaning, so let's say you select uh, Culpepper, which is where I live. Okay, let's just say I would do one product like tree removal service times 10 locations within the county of Culpepper, for example. Let's just say like, you know, there's different areas or sections of the county, towns, cities, whatever, uh, census designated places, they all have their own name. So I could do tree removal service times 10 different locations, and some of those are going to rank or hopefully not, not, it's not all the time that one, but oftentimes at least one or two out of the 10 are going to rank sometimes more. Uh, or I could do one location. So I could pick like one of the locations in Culpeper is called Elkwood. So I could say, um, you know, tree removal service, Elkwood, tree trimming service, Elkwood, arborist tree care, Elkwood, stump grinding, Elkwood, land clearing, Elkwood, uh, you know, tree felling or whatever. That's another term. So my, my point is there are, I could do 10 locations with one service, or I could do one location times 10 services. Does that make sense? Or 10 variant variations of the service keyword. So, cause some are going to rank better than others, but that's kind of the process that I use. Then you identify the keyword and location combos 
that rank on page one or page two, depending on where they are. Like I'll show you an example. I ran this campaign that I'm going to show you in a moment with eight keywords or it was one keyword with eight locations. And um, it was because I have a, a, a lead buyer in the Louisville, uh, Kentucky area that asked if I could test, uh, you know, if, if I could produce some uh, lead generation assets in some specific location. So he gave me a list of eight locations. And I said, all right, let me just do a quick test. I just tested one keyword tree removal service times each of those eight locations. And two of them ranked on page one, two out of the eight ranked on page one. One of them ranked at the top of page two. I'm going to show you these to you in a minute. Um, but I very quickly with just one service, one key service keyword, which was tree removal service, I, I found out of the eight locations that he desires to get more leads in, that two of them I was able to rank on page one with nothing other than a scheduled live stream. And the third one was at the top of page two. Again, I'm going to show this to you in a minute. So now I know that I can go back and I can test those same eight locations with another version, uh, another key service keyword like tree trimming service, stump grinding or stump removal, uh, land clearing. These are all services that this contractor provides. So I could go back and through and test each one of those different services times those eight locations. And then when I'm done, I have a list of the locations that he wants to get more leads in and which services I can rank very quickly in those locations. So then I can go out and build more traditional longer term assets. Because if you guys are aware of this, YouTube videos ranking in local, they typically don't stick that long. They might rank initially, but they will start to slip like or start to drop out, you know, off of page one, usually within a few days and or a few weeks. Sometimes they'll stick, but it's it's rare that it's not often. They they typically will start to slip in the rankings. So my point is you can use this to very quickly identify areas that you can rank for with more with with more YouTube videos, but also more traditional assets that will rank that will stick longer, like G sites, Google sites, blogger, Weebly is ranking really, really well right now, patch.com classified announcement posts. Those are those rank really, really well. And you can spam those with like com blog comment spam to get them to rank. Um, and they will they'll, they'll stick. So or you could build all of these assets targeting those keywords and locations that you've identified will rank easy. And imagine you end up having three or four or five properties on page one for each one of these keyword plus location combos that we've identified using live rank sniper are low hanging low competition opportunities does that make sense so anyways then you can lease those assets or sell those lead, sell the leads generated from them so i'm going to now show you an example of what i'm talking about so here are 10 different thumbnails i've got a my graphic designer um, that does all of our YouTube video thumbnails for Semantic Mastery. He also does these lead gen thumbnails for me. So I've got a lead gen brand that I created called Louisville Felling Pro. Um, and so I used, and these are the eight locations that my lead buyer said that he wanted uh, are all suburbs or areas around or in the Louisville metro area, if that makes sense. So what I, here's one of, again, these are the 10 images that I had created. Okay, you can see they stand out, they're colorful, they have the phone number, uh, the brand name on them, all of that, right? So just wanted to show you guys quickly what, you know, these are, you can go to Fiverr or you can use Canva or something like that to create YouTube thumbnail images or you can go to Fiverr and buy a batch of them or whatever. The point is just have some nice looking thumbnail images that have the call to action, uh, brand, phone number, you know, that kind of stuff on there, okay? So then what we do is, again, we go run live Rank Sniper. It took me less than 10 minutes to set this up because I already know the keywords. Um, and so it's just a matter of, I just had to fire up the software, plug in the locations, uh, set up, you know, select a YouTube profile or, you know, Gmail profile. Um, just click a few buttons to get through the process of setting up the campaign. And then I, I walked away and I came back 30 minutes later and I only did this with one keyword tree removal service times eight locations. And here's what I'm going to show you. All right. So here is, here is my notepad file that I used to set up this campaign. Okay, so uh, here are the, the keyword plus location combos right there. So there's eight of them. You can count them yourself. But there's Tree Removal Service, Fern Creek, Butcher Town, Crescent Hill, etc. So these are the eight types, keyword combinations that I, keyword plus location combinations that I tested. All right, again, I can go back and do the same test with these same eight locations here for tree trimming service, stump grinding service, uh, land clearing service, arborist tree care, 
tree inspection, etc. I can go through and tree maintenance services, right? Go through and test all of those keywords against these eight locations. And then when I would, when I'm done, and by the way, here is the, here is the, um, uh, the YouTube title that I used for each video, right? Which again, it's all tokenized in the software that automates this. Then I, I plugged in the video description here, which I just duplicated the title as the first line of the description. And then uh, this is the text that I use. And I didn't even use a spinner. I just plugged this text in. That was it. It's the same text for every scheduled live stream. Then I put the NAP name, address, phone number at the bottom. And then here was my tags. I only did three tags and that was per video. And that was it. And here are the, there was three videos that ranked two of them on page one. Uh, and one of them on page two, and you can see those down here. Okay, so if I just go over to Firefox, I'll show you tree removal service Crescent Hill KY. Take a look at this right there. Look at that one hour ago. That was streamed live. Does that make sense? And take a look at that. That's the YouTube thumbnail I just showed you. And if we click into this, you'll see it is not a video. It says waiting for Sheila Overton to start the live stream. There's my description, as I just told you. Exactly what I just showed you is in this notepad file. Uh, as far as the text area, that's what I showed, right? So I've got my, um, uh, excuse me, my title right there, as I just showed you. And then I have the du the titles duplicated here where I just appended the phone number to the end of that. Then there's these two paragraphs of content right here. Then the NAP, name, address, phone number, and a few links that I put in there. And then if we looked at tags, you'd see that I had those three tags there as well. Um, so you'll see it's just a very simple video or it's not even a video. It's just a scheduled live stream, excuse me. And um, it ranked on page one. It was just streamed an hour ago and there it is, number one position. Does that make sense? So again, that was one keyword for this location. I could go back through and test this with, you know, five other keywords that are all related to the tree service industry. Stump grinding, tree trimming, land clearing, um, arborist tree care, tree inspection, tree maintenance, tree pruning. You know, all of those are kind of uh, keywords that I can test that I can likely rank for Crescent Hill very, very quickly. Does that make sense? All right, here's another one. Tree Removal Service Mount Washington, Kentucky. Look at this. It's position number what? Uh, eight? Yeah, position number eight. Page one. Again, YouTube thumbnail. It's the exact same content. I, it didn't, I didn't even use the spinner. There is a spinning function uh, inside the tool that will allow you to use their, their own native spinner, or you can just plug your own spin tax in so that these would be more unique. The only thing that's unique about these is the location modifier. That's it. Everything else is the, the contents, the exact same as the other one that I just showed you. And then here's the other one, true removal service, Jefferson town, Kentucky. This is the one that ranked at the top of page two. So if we click to page two, uh, there we have it. Number position number 11 or 12, excuse me, number 12. You see that? So guys, again, um, Live Rank Sniper, it's a great product. I've been using I've been using Live Rank Sniper for years, but I got away from doing this for quite some time. Um, and I just recently in the last few months, I've been doing a lot more like organic lead gen stuff um, because it's harder to get Google business profiles now. So I'm, I'm building a lot more organic lead gen assets. And then once they start to rank, then I use those as a foot in the door to talk to Google uh, uh, companies, co contractors that have Google business profiles that aren't ranking so well. And then I, you know, offer to rent them my organic ranking assets and then offer, which is, it's a hybrid model between like rank and rent or lead gen and uh, the traditional agency model, because I can rent them or, or sell them leads for my organic ranked assets. And then I can offer to do Google business SEO for their Google business profile. So I'm getting a hybrid um, kind of, I'm getting money both from either renting or s renting my assets or selling the leads and then also retainer monthly retainer money to, to work on optimizing their Google business profile for them. Does that make sense? So I started using live rank sniper a couple of months ago again, and I reached out to Peter and said, look, you know, this is a great tool. Um, I can't believe I got away from using it for as long as I did, but, uh, I want to promote it to my list. Cause I know our list, I know the semantic mastery audience does local SEO and lead gen. So this is a great tool, guys. I would encourage you to go check it out. smshort.link slash live dash rank dash sniper, as you see it right here. Um, this is the process. Once you get the hang of this, man, literally, it takes you less than 10 minutes to set up a campaign. That's it. So you can run these campaigns over and over and over again, just swapping out location modifiers or variants of keywords. And here's the thing. You use the same content over and over and over again, right? Like I made this specific to a brand because I have a brand already set up in this area. But you could do it generically, too right? 
Um, again, call tracking number, set up a call tracking number that you can use, have 10 thumbnails created that are generic, but in a particular industry, like free tree service estimate, call this number. And you don't even have to have a brand, like a logo on it, like a, for branding, just thumbnails that stand out, free tree service estimate, call phone number. That's all you need. And then you could, uh, and, and for the tree service example, and then I could use that same thumbnail and the same content over and over and over again to test different keywords in different locations all over the place. So once you have an initial campaign set up, like again, especially if you're in the same industry, then you can just duplicate campaigns like in under under 10 minutes, you have different campaigns set up and you can very quickly start to identify keywords that will rank on page one or at the, you know on page two uh, with no additional work. So now you can go out and build these assets, right? Google Sites, Blogger, Weebly. Weebly's ranking really well right now. Patch.com on that classified announcement post. Again, more YouTube videos, all this stuff that you can build fairly quickly on free platforms, get them to rank, and now you've got multiple assets on page one that you can then use to land clients, rent them out, sell leads, whatever it is that you wanna do. Does that make sense? So again, guys, go check out smshort.link slash live dash rank dash sniper and um, go check it out. Try it for yourself. It's a great tool. It's inexpensive. It works fantastically well. It will help you to identify those low competition keywords that you can rank for for your clients, for lead gen assets, etc. Check it out.